Yo, what up, what up? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Hip hop got a post, bro. We finally got a fucking post. Hell yeah, man, like, I mean, I ain't listen to all the shit. I, like, I ain't listen to uh, Kendrick shit or Cole shit. I heard Dre shit, and then I heard uh, Rick Ross shit. We got a post, man. Like, I'm, I'm glad Rick Ross responded. I'm glad, bro. See this one, I, I like I like his type of shit. I like that type of diss. That was a diss. See these young dudes ain't experienced diss like rap beefs and shit. Like I'm tired of hearing that Drake sassy ass shit, that feminine ass sassy ass shit he be doing. Like he don't be dissing niggas. He just be spilling the tea and like, oh, I remember when you stole my bike and we were like, nigga, I nobody want to hear that shit. Rap, nigga. It's either he it's either he doing that or making a bop it song. Back to back wasn't even a nigga. That was a fucking sing along, bro. That ain't rap beef. That shit ain't like these, these niggas don't even know what rap beef. If if you were if you really a fan of hip hop, you would appreciate it. Rick Ross's diss, bro. That was a real that's he brought that shit back, bro. That was a real diss, like. That's what it's about. It's a, one dude was like, he wasn't lyrical. Fuck all that shit. Back to back one lyrical. Some niggas is lyrical, some niggas not. Nas, Nas is lyrical with ether. Hell, he did it. He actually did some shit talking. Like, come on, bro. He ain't got to be lyrical. Some niggas take that approach. Some niggas don't. Some niggas talk shit. That's rap beef, nigga. It's about going at your opponent. Taking angles and shit. That's what rap beef is about. It ain't about who got the best fucking lyrical bars and shit. I mean, that's a plus. Don't get me wrong, but it's about attacking your opponent. And that's what the fuck he did. And he brought that shit back. I like that type of shit. Yeah, I heard Drake. Drake shit, that shit with me, bro. Like like I said, he he, he always got, if, if, if it's not a bop it song, like a sing along, it's it's some shit where he you could tell he in his feelings. <laughs> like I don't, I don't I wanna hear that shit, nigga. You was the one nigga. Shut the fuck up. Sound like a motherfucking adolescent. I didn't Ah bruh. Nah, Ross did his thing on there. He up one, nigga. He up one. Shit, I'm tired of hearing them. Sing along ass disses. Pusha did his thing. That was a diss. It's about attacking your opponent. It's, it's not about friendly, lyrical, sing along, happy day ass shit, bro. It's about, it's competitive. You want to feel it. Like, ooh, this nigga, ooh, it ain't about, see, that go with you. Who got the best bars? Like, man, no, nigga, it's about, do you feel that shit, nigga? Like, I, I I grew up, nigga, it was Ja Rule and 50 Cent, Ja Rule and fucking uh, Fat Joe, Jada Kiss. They was going back and forth. Uh, Jeezy and Gucci, Tip and Luda, Flip and Tip. You feel what I'm saying? Like, then it was Jeezy and, and Gucci again. Like, them the motherfuckers I know, like, they went at your ass, bro. Pause. It wasn't no... Subliminal. Them niggas were talking to you. You knew who they were talking to. You knew who they were talking to, bro. It wasn't no... Damn, who was he talking about? No, he was talking. It wasn't no guessing. You knew who he was talking to. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's competitive. It ain't gotta be... I ain't saying it gotta be deadly or anything like that. Like, a nigga gotta get killed. I ain't saying no shit like that. I'm saying it's supposed to be competitive. It's supposed to be entertaining. You're supposed to attack your opponent. You know what I mean? Now, hopefully, this is the thing that I ain't, I ain't like. Hopefully, uh, these niggas get back cool and make another collab shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think nobody wanna, don't want no more Drake and uh, uh, Ross collabs, nigga. 
Them joints always a classic. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, man, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, that's just rap beef, man. You know, he, he, they, they brought it back, you know. Ross did his thing. He, he had the best one to me. I, I liked his the best. I feel his more. Yeah. You know all the Drake stands hating on him. He really didn't do anything. He really did nothing. He wasn't lyrical or anything. You know, it's just some man gassing it. Shut your ass up. You don't even know what rap beef is. You just start listening to rap. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> these niggas think it's supposed to be sing alongs back to back. Just back to backs everywhere. It, no, it ain't a goddamn back to back. It's not a fucking bop it, nigga. Like, come on, bro. That's not rap beef. Go look up. Go look at the past beefs with niggas, bro. Go to uh, go look up Takeover, bro. Yeah, go look up uh, Takeover and Ether, nigga. Look up uh, Pac and Mob Deep and and uh, 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 who else? Pac, Pac and Biggie. You know, look up those niggas from the 90s. You feel what I'm saying? Like, look at those niggas. LL rap battles, man. Cannabis. That's what it's, that's real rap beef, bro. Like, look, look that shit up. That's what it's about. Not about sing-alongs and shit, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? That's why I'm glad Ross came out with that shit, bro. It's not about sing-alongs, my nigga. It's not about no friendly, gay ass, sassy ass, I'm in my feelings ass approach. Like, that shit whack, nigga. That shit whack. Yeah, because these niggas don't know what it is. He brought it back as of right now. He lets you know how that shit's supposed to go. That's how that shit's supposed to go. Like, you don't, you know, you're supposed to go at your opponent. That's what it's supposed to be. Not that other shit. So, I ain't, ain't no motherfucking size, nigga. I don't, I'm just sitting here like, I'm sitting here eating popcorn, nigga. Like Styles P said, nigga. I'm eating popcorn, nigga. Ain't, ain't nobody on no side, nigga. Just saying who, who who rapped the best, nigga. Who got the best approach? Yeah, that's what I like. I like shit like this. Yeah, I like that shit. Like, see who can rap. Yeah, who can rap? Dre. I mean, like, like the reason I ain't start. Uh, I didn't listen to this shit because. Uh, I didn't even look at those three as those type of niggas anyway. Even though rap, I mean, I said rap. Even though Drake been involved in rap beef in the past, in the past, I still don't look at him as like a nigga like that 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 they go down like that. I didn't look at Kendrick like that, and I don't look at Cole like that. I look at them as, as rappers. I don't look at them niggas as like. You know, I ain't saying they can't, but it's like I never looked. That's why I, ain't, I wasn't too caught up in it when it first started. I'm like, oh, man, this ain't about shit. You probably just said some, some little shit, and that's that. Then I heard uh, I went on Sino page. I'm like, let me just see what's going on. He was talking about it. And I heard the Drake shit. I'm like, uh, that sounded like some shit he had put out. And then everybody would talk about the Ross shit. I'm like, Ross? They, they, they was like, he going in. Like, he da da da. I'm like, okay. I looked up his shit and he went in, bro. That's, that's, I like that shit. I like that shit. See, now, this is what happened with Pusher. Right? Remember when Pusher dropped? Adidon. 
and they said Jay Prince told Drake to stand down. I wonder what the fuck he gonna do now. And hey, please don't paint that dude as the victim. I mean, they already painting this nigga as a victim, man. This nigga been throwing shots ever since he came on the scene, bro. Like, give me a break with this shit like this nigga the victim. This nigga is the most subliminal nigga after Jay-Z ever, nigga. He, he sends subliminals out the ass, man. Like, please miss me with that. He's a victim, 20 verse 1. He, this nigga stay send, this nigga stay saying little shit, bro. I don't feel sorry for that motherfucker. He better rap. I'm gonna cry for this. This nigga stay saying, he stay saying slick shit. <laughs> nigga wanna paint this nigga as a victim. Man, get the fuck out of here. You better rap. It's 20 against one. No, it's not. No, it's not. It ain't no 20 against one. Please give me a fucking break. Ain't no motherfucking 20 against one. Drake say shit all the time. Niggas finally responding. Like, cut the bullshit. Cut the bull. Cut the shit. My old co workers would say. Cut the shit. Hell no, fuck all that shit. Remember when he came out, he dropped this, uh, this was like two, three years ago, he came out, this motherfucker diss Megan Thee Stallion, he diss, he diss Dram for some shit that happened 10 years ago. <laughs> you feel me like, fuck that nigga, man. He a good artist, but nigga, I don't feel sorry for that dude. Nigga be saying all slick shit. You know he say slick shit. You know he says subs. You know that. So don't don't try to come to his defense. Oh, he's a no. This nigga stay saying little shit, bro. Don't do that, bro. Now I'ma tell the people. I'm like, no, Drake ain't Drake ain't gonna go. The, the only person that could defeat Drake is Drake, bro. Push ain't stop him, and Rick Ross ain't gonna stop him. The only way to stop Drake is Drake. So for the people that's like, oh, he done, he not done. He got too many female fans, bro. And I ain't saying I want him to be fans. I'm just letting the dudes know they were saying, like, oh, he done it. No, he not. He ain't done. He got too many female fans and fans, period, around the world. He ain't done, bro. He could he could go go on a hiatus for the uh for the summer and then come back with an album in the fall and he'll be right back on top, bro. Like he ain't. He one of them niggas, he gotta, he gotta self-sabotage for his shit to be fucked up. Yeah, he one of them niggas. Yeah. But yeah, this shit is interesting, bro. I like this shit, man. I'm, I'm tuned in, man. I like this shit. I like this shit. <laughs> I don't want it to get, you know, deadly or nothing like that. It's just, you know, the competitive nature. We got enough death going on in rap as it is. Man. Yeah, for the young niggas, man, this is what rap beef, rap beef is about. It's not a handbook to this shit. You attack your opponent. Ain't no rules, nigga. Ain't no he got a who's the most lyrical. No. It's about who attacked the opponent the best. Who had the angle? Who had the edge? Who pulled it off the best? Whether it's uh, trolling, you know, uh, angle, bars, lyricism, metaphors, punchlines, however this shit go. You know what I'm saying? That's rap beef, bro. That's what it's about. You talk shit. You feel what I'm saying? You witty. You roast the nigga. You joke on the nigga. Like battle rap. That's what battle rap come from. Rap beef, like battle rapping. You rapping. It's a competitive sport. Back to back, like that shit ain't even considered a fucking. Uh, I mean, it's a diss, but it, it, that's not all that it contains. Like they think it just contains uh, that. It's more to that, bro. Drake just excelled at that shit. Know what I mean, but you know 
this 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 is cool, man. I like this shit. I like this shit. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Love y'all, deuces.